it's time to go diving. The goal of this mission is to find the sea robin, an animal that can fly across the seafloor, but can also walk with its finger-like spines. To locate one, we will have to dive under this massive bridge before the tide comes back in and pushes us out to sea. Dangers on this dive include sharp objects, an extremely high population of fireworms, and of course, sharks. Our air supply is limited to 50 minutes of dive time. Let's get searching. At this site, we've already found a ton of bizarre marine life, so I'm hoping our luck will strike again. Oh, take a look at this spike ball. Sometimes they're confused for puffer fish because these burr fish are very similar looking. Yes, those spikes are super sharp and is why they don't have many predators down here. Even for the toughest fish, you don't want a mouthful of spines like that. Spotting that burr fish was a great sign, but let's keep looking for the sea robin. Ah, uh, the tide is rushing back, but I'm seeing something bright. Let's close in on those pillars. That is a giant yellow seahorse and a super rare find. I didn't even know we could find these here. If you look carefully, you can see it's covered in small black dots. And to handle these strong currents, seahorses use their tails to anchor on nearly anything they can grab onto since they aren't very good swimmers. But that has to be the most colorful seahorse I've ever seen. Very cool, but we need to move on. Visibility is starting to get worse and time is really running out. Need to really focus now. I'm starting to see a lot more fireworms. Still no signs of the sea robin under the bridge. Let's try a new technique and search further out on the sandy bottom. Sea robins can be found scavenging for food across the sea floor. So even if we're not under bridge, this area is a great place to find them. Huh, look at that sunken boat over there. I bet that's a great spot for a sea robin to hide. Let's go check it out. That is a pair of spiny lobsters in a big sea urchin behind them. And right next to them is an arrowhead crab, but still no sign of the sea robin. All right. Time to get back on track. Time is running out. We only have about 20 minutes left before we're out of air. Seen something now lurking behind that piece of rubble there. See it four meters away? Confirmed, target spotted right there. We need to be careful here. I don't want to scare it away too soon. Approaching now. Okay, this one is a northern sea robin and is right next to a bandtail puffer. He is watching me. All right, so their most unusual feature has to be their ability to walk on those spines, which are nothing more than modified fins, but they definitely look like legs. Man, look at that. This fish could have easily been named the spider fish. And as you can see, they use their legs really well to walk around so they can scavenge for food. Okay, he's thinking of fleeing now, and this is a good time to see the display of those wing-like fins. And there he goes, flying across the seafloor. Footage secured. I'm Mark Vins and I'm the Aquanaut. Over and out.